somehow here we are yet again at two in the morning. Christmas times. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 8. Do you want to get up and go outside? Okay. I need to get my butt out of bed. You're breathing into my mouth. Once again, I'm looking outside and the weather looks a gloomy. A gloomy day. A gloomy day in Tennessee. In fact, we looked at the weather and it shows that it's going to be gloomy until like Wednesday. It's currently Wednesday. That's a whole freaking week. We'll figure out how to not be depressed. It's fine. Oh, good morning, hug. Oh. Stop, let me go. You don't want to hug for me in the morning? All right, good morning. I actually do not think I'm going to get ready because why? Let me be comfy. I have to turn the light on. It's not much better. Coffee shop fit of the day. Black, it will always be Vlogmas in my heart. It also says Vlogmas 2022 on the wrist. We've got Old Navy sweatpants. She is such a bad bitch. And you guessed it, my Uggs. I'm also bringing my very own tote bag. I'm bringing this extension cord because you never know what seat you're gonna get. And I'll have you guys stuffed in here too. Uh, <gasps> Harlow, you just scared the f out of me. Oh, what am I doing here? Editing Vlogmas. What's Vlogmas? It's the most wonderful time of the year. I feel a little ridiculous with these braids in, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna bring a hair clip in just in case. We made it and I should probably go inside because I'm stalling in my car and someone's gonna take my seat. And it's my fault, I can't be mad at nobody else. The coffee shop that I wanted to go to was closed. It's 9 a.m. and the world is already testing me. So I'm going to this other coffee shop that I've been to before that I don't like, but it's better than nothing. I won't get it done if I sit at the house. There's too many distractions. But now I can't even get to that coffee shop because of the train. Here, I'll clean it off for you. Oh, I think it's ending. I can't see the train over there anymore, meaning it has to be almost done. <gasps> There's the caboose. I love cabooses. I feel like I relate to the caboose quite a bit. videos uploading. Right. Nobody's even yeah. paying attention to me. And you're yeah. freaking out for what? Nobody in here gives a single fuck. Okay, but now I just became very self-aware of the people across from me. I'm getting a little shy. Are you happy, Mom? So oh that's a yes. That's a really intense yes. You hungry? Why is that literally me? Okay, come on. Okay. It wasn't until I was watching other people's vlogmas videos <laughs> that I realized I really don't do much. Alicia's video today, she just went to the People's Choice Awards. I'm about to hang up a gnome sign. I got this from Five Below yesterday and I forgot to show you guys. And I'm trying to find a place that I can go. Do I just put it right there? Sam, if you're watching this, I hope you don't mind. Oh. I'm borrowing your gingerbreads. Oh, they're backwards. Much better. Mr. Gnome needs a home. Took me about five minutes to come up with that. I don't remember what video it was. I don't even remember if it was during Vlogmas. But if you guys commented that you were dead at the fact that I'm using a meat mallet or like a tenderizer or something as a hammer. You call it weird, I call it resourceful. This is the same thing as a hammer. Is that about halfway? Chilling with my gnomies. 
I was trying to think of things that I could do that would cause me anxiety, and I just genuinely can't think of any today. My mind is blank. Don't be mad at me, but I may or may not have just sat and did the Lego house without filming. I actually don't know if any of you guys care about the Lego house. Maybe you won't be mad, but I'll still show you where we're at with it. This is where we're at with the Lego house. This is the bedroom. It has a chair, a little book, a picture of space, and a bed. It even has a railing so the kids can't fall off. If you look into the kitchen, there's a little KitchenAid mixer in there and some bread on the counter. This dining room table is everything. There is a literal runner. Oh, I fixed it. So we have our little dining room table with the runner. The stockings, you have to be kidding me. The family portrait's a little bit sideways because putting stickers on with nails is kind of hard. There's a chair and some cookies for Santa. On the outside, it looks like this. There's little lights or bells. The bird. The front door opens and closes. It's coming along nicely. I'm also kind of scared that it's gonna become an addiction. I have no chill when it comes to things that I like. I definitely have an addictive personality. I'm addicted to food. I'm addicted to you. When I find something that helps my brain turn off, even if it's for 0.2 seconds, I cling to it, which is probably just because my brain never shuts the fuck up. It's so draining sometimes. This is me, Samantha Joe, reporting live from the toilet. I was just on TikTok and saw that there's an invention that is sold at Lowe's that apparently, if you hang your ornaments up with it, they do not fall off the tree, no matter how hard it shakes. Meaning, theoretically, they would be dobby proof, which could fix the ornament problem. I guess I'm going to Lowe's. I grabbed the cart, not because I need one, but because I feel safer with one. These are kind of cute. I don't know how they work. It looks like they just stick in your window. It's not a need, it's a want. I don't even really know what I'm looking for, to be honest with you. I didn't even finish the ad before I started the clip saying I'm coming to Lowe's. I just looked it up. It's called Ornament Anchor. Unfortunately, we're shit out of luck. TikTok lies. Know how much two California rolls was. Oh wow. Where are the wood ones? It's good though. Somehow here we are yet again at two in the morning. Today was a fever dream. I don't even remember what I have done today or what I have filmed today. He wants to play fetch. I think the last thing you saw me do was get sushi. I was gonna go to sushi train in Nashville all by myself, exposure therapy, because one of my favorite ways to challenge my anxiety is to go out to eat by myself. Unfortunately for you, they're closed on Wednesdays. Before I go to sleep, I'm gonna pick up my room. I've been telling myself I'm gonna clean my room for the past two days. Guess what hasn't happened? Cleaning my room. What I won't be doing is putting my clothes away. I can't do that at 2 a.m. But we are gonna clean all of this up. That way when I wake up tomorrow, it's a nice pristine environment. I won't have to trip on the way to the bathroom. I'm tired, but it's gonna be worth it to not have to do it tomorrow. While we were out, we also went to studs. Ignore my mole scar and ignore my botched tattoo. But I got some cute little earrings from studs. What was that noise? This one's a little cowboy boot and this one is green. I don't know what that one is. On this side, I have a little cell phone. Like you've got to be kidding me. And that's it, I already had these two. I never unpack. I don't know why I have such a hard time unpacking. I'm the person who will leave their suitcase packed until the next time they have to take a trip. That is not a quality that I'm proud of. <laughs> Am I really about to fold all of these clothes? Better now than never, I guess. I'd rather them be folded and not put away than just not put away. Oh, hair roller in the sweater. Hair roller on the bra. This is top five worst parts about being an adult. You're the person responsible for all of your clothes. Pads. I was indeed on my period the last time I used this suitcase. Oh, a dribble. Until next time. Since I've made the executive decision to ignore the issue of putting my clothes away until tomorrow, I'm going to gather all of the clothes and move them to my closet. My toxic trait is I always say I'm gonna do it tomorrow. Oh, you're gonna go for a run? Yeah, I'll do it tomorrow. Oh, remember that laundry I had to put away? I'll do it tomorrow. I had a paper due. I guess I'll do it tomorrow. Eating healthy? That sounds fun. I'll start tomorrow. It's always tomorrow and never now. Even when now is tomorrow. These are Dorothy. 
I can tell I've just been stripping at night because all of the dirty clothes in my room are right next to my bed. For some reason, I'm choosing to get out of bed, take my clothes off, and get back in. Interesting. Can we please take a moment to appreciate just how much of that mess was just clean clothes that I need to put away? At this point, it's just garbage and this vanity situation. I'm gonna wash my sheets. I don't know why I haven't done that. Remind me to do that tomorrow. I can see how many people view and watch this video. Every single one of you better have commented and reminded me to wash my comforter. With education connection. I needed a bag for garbage, because there's quite a bit. You have a better view now. Half of my vanity is an Alex 5 drawer. I think that's what it's called. It is not organized whatsoever. In fact, I need to go through the entire thing and clean it out and only keep the stuff that I have used in the last two months because there's no reason for me to be hoarding it and hanging on to everything. You might be wondering why I have these lights on top of my mirror that is already surrounded by big beautiful bulbs. I have an impressions vanity mirror. I don't even remember when I bought this thing. When I moved from Florida, I lost every single one of the bulbs. I have no idea where they are. I've been looking for this. What was I saying? I was saying something, right? Oh, the light bulbs. Eventually, I gave up trying to find them because I realized I have looked everywhere and they just don't exist anymore. Still don't know what happened to them. I ordered all of these bulbs that you're seeing here from the Impressions Vanity website and they do not work in this mirror. So I emailed them and I said, hey, is there a different one? Because this is the only ones you guys even sell on your website. And they responded that if I wanna get new light bulbs for this mirror, I have to message them personally and go through some specific person to order them, which does not make any sense. I genuinely have no idea if I'm ever gonna get these light bulbs. If anyone from Impressions Sanity is watching this, send me light bulbs so I can use my mirror again. It's that or I'm gonna sell it. I'm over it. Someone else can deal with it and try and get light bulbs that fit into it. I'll give you a good price. I bought all this Grinch makeup to do, I don't know, a review, a tutorial, I don't know. Just thought it would be fun for Vlogmas. It was Andrew's idea. Maybe if I set it up all nice, I'll remember it exists. Do I know what I would rather be doing right now? Building my Lego set. I have a feeling my next hyperfixation is Legos. I finished baggy number seven today, or I'm about to do baggy number seven. I can't stop. I had to literally pry myself from the Legos earlier. I don't think it's a healthy obsession. I haven't even finished the first one and I'm already obsessed. Honestly, this might not look perfect to you, but it looks adequate to me. This is the bag that I'm using for garbage and I wanna see how fast I can pick up the rest of the garbage. Ready, set, go. So I'm gonna be really tired in the morning. So I'm helping future Samantha out. I picked out my outfit for tomorrow, so I'm gonna wear a black sports bra. This is my favorite sports bra, by the way. I can link it down below. This white ASO sweater. I don't think I've worn this in Vlogmas yet already. I'm trying to not rewear outfits, but I don't think I'm cool enough to never wear the same outfit twice. That seems impossible. I've got plaid Christmas socks, and I'll probably just wear like black pants or black leggings. You're damn right. I swear I think in memes in my head sometimes. When you're editing a video every single day, your thoughts become memes. I'm just gonna fold these and set them on my vanity. That way they're ready for me in the morning. I don't have any clean sheets. We're just gonna have to pretend there's a hair clip and a roller, two for one. There you go, nice and clean. And that, my friends, is how you clean your room in 20 minutes. I can actually vlog my room without feeling embarrassed. Not that I have anything to be embarrassed about. If you've never had a messy room, I think you're lying. And if you actually have never had a messy room, I'm sure you have your own vices and your own issues and your own things that you're not perfect at. Because as human beings, none of us are perfect. Imagine a world where everybody was perfect. Ugh. Now, if mental health wants to get a little bit easier, that would be nice. <laughs> but living in a world where everyone's perfect and nobody has their own quirks and messy rooms, that would just be so boring. Because in order to have all of those good things, bad things have to exist too, even though we don't like them and they're not convenient. The bad things make us appreciate the good things a hell of a lot more. After 2 a.m., I become a motivational speaker. I think it's time that I retire. He was offended that I didn't say we. 
I think it's time we retire. Is that better? If you guys didn't see yesterday's video, I have Vlogmas merch. You guys can get it and we can twin. So many of you guys have already sent me your order confirmations and everything in my DMs and I was chatting with a lot of you guys today. If you guys watched the last couple vlogs, I've been kind of feeling kind of meh, a little bit bleh. Seeing you guys excited for things like Vlogmas merch or just Vlogmas in general, like every time I upload a video, it just reminds me that I have something to push through my mental health issues for, if that makes sense. Like I have something that I'm fighting for. I have you guys that I know are rooting for me and I hope you know that I'm also rooting for you. I had a meeting with my managers today and we discussed a podcast and I'm so excited about it. If you've ever wanted to sit and listen to me for an hour straight, it's coming. Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know that I'm supposed to say that. There's no secrets during Vlogmas, I guess. You either watch every day and get to know all the secrets or you do not. Tomorrow is Thursday, that means we are one day closer to Mama Kelly coming. It is 2.30 in the morning. Why do you want to play fetch? I have a confession before I go. I forgot about the tub full of Christmas ideas. So these videos haven't been very Christmassy. I've saved a lot of the best Christmas activities for when Mama Kelly comes just because she's gonna be here doing a big chunk of her Christmas season. So I wanna do my best to make it feel Christmassy. I'm trying really hard to not try and make my life seem more exciting than it is. I know there's people out there doing Vlogmas that already have that covered. Because in every aspect, aside from my job title, I would say mine and your lives look pretty similar. I've never really been out to LA, so maybe a lot of influencers in LA's lives are more normal than I think they are. When I see all these events that they're going to and just these things that they're doing and shows that they're on, like I would kill to be a fly on the wall just to see how they live because I actually can't comprehend it. Like I have days where I don't leave the house. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Nothing that's important to you. So I'm gonna go. I love you guys so much. For some reason I felt like Vlogmas was already like almost over, but we're not even halfway. So I need to calm down because I feel like I'm running out of time. <laughs> we have plenty of time, isn't that right? I love you guys and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye bye. Say goodbye. Do you love me? <laughs> I'm saying this for you later, Samantha. Yes, you editing this. Right now you're having anxiety that the video you filmed today wasn't good enough. Even though you know that the people watching you are just happy to see you and happy to spend the day with you, you are feeling like that's not good enough and that you didn't film enough or you weren't entertaining enough. This is my message for you. You're posting a video every single day for 25 days. Does an actor win an Oscar for every single movie that they're in, every single TV show that they do? Does a songwriter get a Grammy for every single song that they write? Is every song on an album the number Number one hit? No! So stop being so damn hard on yourself. And that goes for all of you too. That metaphor can be used for a lot of things that aren't just making YouTube videos. You are doing good. You are doing great. You are succeeding. You are powerful. You are wonderful. Y'all are my family and I know that ain't none of us are failing. We have the strength of millions. You can do this.